the doorbell, Brandon. Come on. Hey, you! Yeah, you! What are you doing? We found this truck on the side of the road. I think some kids, I don't know, there might be some transmission trouble. You might want to check it out. What's going on here? Hey, that's the truck. The one that was stolen hey. in Newark? Hey, what are you doing with the truck, asshole? It's a gift from Tony Soprano. <laughs> Those are the fucking guys that killed Hector. We just returned maybe the biggest score of my whole year. Listen, you fuck. Uncle Junior's been breaking Tony's balls because you hijacked that truck. You're lucky Tony doesn't shove the cab up your ass. What else did Conley say? Not that much. Well, there was some stuff missing from the truck, uh, but he didn't give a fuck as long as the thing's back, you know? Well, then he said to tell Tony thank you, and if there's anything Tony needs, you should give him a call. Tony? <laughs> Those fucking junkie fucks, they work for Tony. They hijack Conley's truck, I get it back, and oh man, Conley's thanking Tony? Well, I think you should have taken care of this Christopher Maltesante thing the minute it first happened. You should have sent a clear cut signal to what you fuck with Junior Soprano. Take it easy. We're not making a Western here. Fucking family. I bought his kid a $400 surfboard for his birthday. Poor Jackie. God hears his reasons. Olivia, you look twice as old as me. So what's really on your mind, Corrado? This Christopher Moltisanti. Christopher? What about him? Him and his little uh, friend. They're slapping me in the face, and they're hiding behind Tony. Well, Tony always loved Christopher like a son. And so do I, Junior. He put up my storm windows for me one year. Good. But what do I do? I just let him and his felony kid piss on me in public? And how far do I go before I light a friggin' match under that hot-headed son of yours? Maybe Christopher could use a little talking to. You know. The other one? Filoni? I don't know. You got a lot of sense for an old gal. No. I'm a babbling idiot. That's why my son put me in a nursing home.